So, is attendance important? Well, it certainly is. Um, there's a huge correlation between kids being at school and doing really well at school, but not only doing well at school, but after they leave school. So it's super important. Now, did you know uh, each day absent at high school has an impact on skill development and social development. So it's, it's so important that your child comes to school and picks up all the opportunities that there is at school. So we've got a little bit of a saying, every day counts. So it's really important. So what can you do? Um, I've got a few little things there that you could do. Make sure that you're really proactive, act early. So talk to your child about attendance. Talk to them about that link between being at school and doing really well. Um, talk to your child's care teacher is a really important one. Now Steve's in there talking about the care program at the moment um, and, and what that is and the function of that. That person would be someone that would be pivotal for you to talk to if there are any issues with attendance. Now, what to do if you are away from school, if your child is away from school for a legitimate reason? There's two ways, predominantly, that you can inform the school. You can ring the hotline, um, and the number's up there, 60579051. So you can ring that straight away. There's not going to be a person on the other end talking to you, it'll be just a message. So you can leave a message and just explain um, your child's absence. Tim will talk about the school portal in a few minutes time and what that looks like, how you can get on there and, and, and amend your child's attendance. But there's also more that you could do on the portal as well. No matter what happens, if your child is away, you need to follow up that attendance the day that it occurs. Um, and if there is ever any, any question, please give the school a call. And at the end, uh, there's a handout up the back that just explains attendance in a little bit more detail. Should you wish to pick one up, they're just on the back counter there on your way out. It's called Everyday Counts. What I'll do now is I will hand over to Tim. Now, while I start, I'm hoping Gary can swap computers for me. Um, so. What we've done this year is um, we've tried to roll out um, a new attendance marking procedure that is linked with our parent portal um, and most of you would have received a text message in, in uh, highlighting the fact that we're having this evening. Um, we also tried to roll out another text message uh, this morning to give you your unique login and um, user codes and your passwords. Unfortunately, nationally, um, the, the global SMS system fell over um, and it had to happen today. So the guys that we've been operating with said it hasn't happened in the last seven years, but it happened today. Mm -hmm. So we might be cursed on this one, but we'll see how we go. Um, so our parent portal, sorry about turning my back on you. Um, our parent portal will be obviously available online. You'll, you'll receive a, a user code as a family user um, for any parents in here that have got um, people out at the senior college, it's very similar, it's the same system. Um, once you log in the first time with your unique uh, password that you'll never be able to remember anyway, it's one of those really complex ones, it'll prompt you to use your own and it does need to be a complex password, you can't just simply type in um, a simple password. It is part of our DEET um, I suppose interface, so it will require you to update that, those login details after a period of time, so just make sure you're continually going there and doing that. Um, so what I would like to do right now is just take you through um, what you can actually do as a parent and how you would do it. So the parent portal to begin with is, first thing you can see up here, we've just got a, um, a dummy account for you, so we didn't want to obviously give you details of, of certain families, sorry I'm in your way. Um, so there's a few things we can check. So obviously the, the, the drop-down boxes up the top or the, as we look just here, we can look at a student's timetable, we can print that timetable, you can look at teacher's contacts um, and I'll just click on those, they'll just bring them straight up and you can email directly from there. 
Um, you'll see that there are two images or two blank images. So if you've got multiple students at the school, obviously all the details come up for each. So if I was to come down here then and look at teacher contacts, they're not going to be the same list. Obviously they're in different classes. So as far as um, amending attendance, this is hard to do left-handed. Um, if I was to go in and have a look at these absences, I can then select the reason behind why the, the uh, absence occurred. Um, I can't actually do it and save it right now because it won't let me, I've already tried. But these reasons are just here. Um, and then you can just type a little note in and that's simple as that. You don't actually have to talk to anybody, you can do it from home, you can do it from your mobile. So if I just have a look really quickly here, um, this is as close as we can get to your login today um, without the SMS. So this is what it will look like um, from your mobile device, so out of your pocket. That's the original sign-in page. Um, if I just go scroll down. And it, it takes you through very similar images that we were looking at just then that I went through the school system. All right. For those people that um, received their text message originally, uh, you get a unique address in there, but if you happen to delete the text message, uh, it's a simple process of just ringing up the school if you can't remember what the web address is. Otherwise, it's sims.wodonga.vic.edu.au um, and then you can get straight back into that, that site from your mobile or anything like that. Should be straightforward when you get the SMS. Have we got any questions? Up the back, thank you. Yep. It should stay the same, yes. Oh, we won't have to do a new one. Have no. accounts. You'll have two different accounts because it's a separate school. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you'll have an account up there. So you'll have your own family login up at Senior yeah. and, a, and a family login here. And something we could look at streamlined. It would be nice to streamline, yes. Yeah. We're getting closer. Okay. Nice. Every day. Up the back, sorry. Yep. Absolutely. And I'm glad you brought that up. We've actually turned it off until we made sure all the bugs were ironed out um, till this point in time, which is tonight. So, and then we got that major bug. So we have to just go back now? So once you, no, you'll receive a new SMS. Um, and look, if you've, if you've changed your password and you've forgotten, it's a simple process. You can ring up um, the front office or any staff member can do it as well. And they can reset your password to the, the crazy one that they give you. And then you can go in and, and create your own again from there. So, yep, go back to the, the new SMS that you receive, hopefully in the next day or so, um, and, and start it out from there. But it is all working, it's all operational. Um, I think I have one over here. Um, the website, is it included in the text message that's sent? Yes, definitely. Yep. So, if your child is away absent, you'll get a text message every day, and you probably have many of those, perhaps? Um, so that gets sent out, at, I think it's about 4.30 every night. And on the new, one, once you get this operational, on the new one, it'll give you the hot link for the absence number or the, um, or, or the portal uh, address. You just click on that. Yeah, it, <coughs> well, the, uh, and you also send out what will constitute a complex password. I know we had trouble with that previous years about not getting the password right. So oh, yeah, okay. So. So the, the one that we originally send out um, will be very complex. It'll be, you know, gobbledygook, basically. Um, if you were just to copy that and paste it in into that, that uh, where have I got it? Have I got it up here? Yep, just up the, where the dots are. Um, then it'll prompt you to change it into your own password from there, because I know you'll never remember the first one. I understand one. that. Yep. Creating your own password still has to be complex, doesn't it? So yeah, it still does, so yes. The, the rules around what makes up there is, and it'll, it'll, it should prompt you. Um, it'll be a capital, it'll be a numerical, and it'll be a special figure, and then a minimum amount. So usually eight to ten characters. But that would be prompted. Yep. Yep. So I would, I, would, uh, I would encourage a phone call because we need to fix that our end. Uh, we need to be tighter on that. Yep. 
Yep. So regardless of who the teacher is, we need to be marking the roles. It won't. Um, it won't, but the, the regular teacher, um, email that teacher and they'll know who took their class. It's a great question, Arnold, and it does happen, and I'm really sorry about that. We try everything we can to be perfect, but you know, in, this, in the world that we're in, it's never going to be perfect. So if it does happen, I really apologise, but as a parent, I prefer to get a text message and follow that up than, than it go without being followed up. They, there's not a, notice it wasn't a drop-down box that you said actually was at school. You can't have a drop-down box to say, well, sorry, but they were at school. Because I, we get that quite often. Yeah, and it's always great if it does happen, as, as we said, bring the school, talk to that teacher and get to the bottom of um, they may They may have been at school, but they may have been, there might be some issues. They might be sitting outside and the teacher doesn't know, or it could be a whole range of things. So it's really important to get to, get to the bottom of that. I don't think that answers your question, oh, well, though. <laughs> it's usually because the kids are off doing dancing or, school yeah, yeah. or some yep. in-school activity, and it's not being passed through. It's not, I don't really think it should be up to the parents to keep following that up all the time. When it's so, school, from experience, I'd have to say a lot of those instances are when the student either leaves early or enters late, um, and sometimes it is as a result of school activities. Um, so that's something that um, we can all get better at and I suppose if uh, students are proactive as well and, and make it noted as they walk in the room, um, if it hasn't been marked already if, or if you marked the role, Gary, um, yes I have, or can you please make sure that I've been added to that. So, um, And as teachers we need to be doing the same thing. So 